Welcome to RPA. In this video, we will discuss about how to iterate through Excel data using Microsoft uh, Automate. Let's say we have Excel file and we want to write it down in each cell then for doing so we don't have direct activity in Microsoft Power Automate desktop version. So for that we have to use it the customized way where we can write them in each of the sales with different data set. So I will show you practically how we can perform this. So before proceeding further, let me run this code and then I will show you how we can do it with simple step. So don't worry about it. This is very much easy how we can I3 to data using Microsoft Power Automate. So let me run this code. Now first it will launch the browser, navigate it to this website and from there it will start extracting the data and filling out within the Excel file in each of the cell. So here you can see the data started adding. So here I have defined the conditions till 20th row. This will add the detail after that. It will pause the execution. So in each of the time it will go to this extract the detail and add the data which we have selected. Now that's done. When we'll navigate back to this, the code execution is completed and we have this data available. After that, we can save this detail. So if we have any set of data, we want to iterate it or add it within the Excel file one by one. By this way, we can do it easily. So here, my focus is to show you how we can iterate each user data because in Power Automate Desktop version, when you open Excel activities, within the Excel activities, we don't have iterations where we can add within a single row because while writing, Excel data, we have this column and row, which we have to define it. But by using this way, we can add the data each of the cell easily. Now, let me delete this complete flow and we'll build it from scratch so that you will be able to understand. So first, we have to navigate it to this location. For doing so, we will use launch browser activity Within the launch browser, we will use launch new row. We want new instance. Here we will specify the initial URL. We can also store into variable for this URL. This will auto generate variable which contains the instance of this browser. After that, we want to launch Excel. So whenever we launch Excel, we always select with a blank document and we want to see this result. That's the reason I've selected here, make instance visible. Again, this will create auto variable, which store variable instance, or which store the instance detail within this variable. Now here, we have to extract the detail from the browser. So for that, we can use browser automation. Here, we will select browser automation and web from the web data extractions you will have to get details of element on web page we'll specify the exact element we'll specify exact element what we are looking for so we'll select here this element and here this will store into attribute value once this will be done for we will use loop so here we'll drag and drop loop activity and here we have to specify the start and end value. We are starting with the Excel iteration. So we will select from one row till 20th. And in the increment by, I can see just one the loop is done. Next item, we want this, this one, we want into this loop condition. After that, we will use write activity in Excel, write to Excel sheet. And here we have the value which needs to be iterated. So attribute value I'll select here, right? Column I want in column A, but row 
I want to use dynamic. So for that, we will use set variable activity. Within the set variable, we will use out of the loop. Here, I will specify row as a variable. So I will fix this first instance as a fixed value. Then we will use for increment so that it will increment each time whenever the loop will start iterating. This will increment the value by one. So here we'll use row as a variable, and after that, this will increase by one. Exactly same data we will use it here so that we can make this phase dynamic. And now that's done. Whenever we run this code, we'll have those items available in iterative mode in Excel and this data will start getting added whenever the browser launch and extractions will be done. So this will launch Excel file and start adding this data. So let's see, it's running. So browser is not completely loaded. That's the reason we can see here. Maybe there are a lot of advertising content. That's the reason. Now we can see this launch the Excel file and start iterating or adding the detail within the Excel file. And this is very much easy. We can add any number of data in each of the cell. So this will add till 20th row. After that, this will pause the execution. And here we will see the execution has been completed. And after that, if we want to store this Excel file, we can select the close activity and close Excel activity and we will store the information with any specific name. So here we will use Excel, same Excel instance and we can either select save document or save document as. So this is how we can store and after that we can use close web browser. So, so that we will have the exact data available and after that this will close all those application which we have used so that it will not keep the instance available each of the time. So that's all from this video. Hope you enjoy the content. If you think so, this will be useful. Don't forget to share with the new circle. Thank you for watching.